But I tell you, I get so much junk mail, solicitations. I sometimes feel like I should maybe have a recycling bin out in the front instead of my mailbox. Bills, solicitations, more bills, catalogs. Oh boy, okay, wait. Here's one from the town of Sunderland. It has a Sunderland seal on it. I wonder if it's another bill. Seems like I've paid a lot of bills lately, but it's from someone with the name Dinnergy. I've never, I'm not sure how you even pronounce that. It looks kind of suspicious. Let me open and see what's in here. Kind of looks like it has something to do with my electric bill. Um, hmm, wonder what that's all about. Well, you know what? I'm going to give Aaron a call. He's on the Sunderland Energy Committee, and he'll know what this is about and if it's legitimate. Hi, Aaron. <clears throat> it's David here. Hi, David. How you doing? I'm pretty good. Uh, yeah, looking. I just uh, got this strange letter in the mail from a company called Dinergy or Dinergy. I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce it. It's coming from the town. Do you know anything about this? Is this like some of the other sales letters that I've gotten? Is this a scam? Hi, David. Um, I'm glad you called. And <laughs> no, it, it's not a scam. And their name is Dinergy. I got the same letter too. It's, it's actually official town business, as it says on the envelope. This is a project that the Sunderland Energy Committee has been working on for well over two years now. It's been discussed at town meeting and at several select board meetings as well. Well, I'll admit, I don't really pay a whole lot of attention to those meetings. You know, I should, but you know, they just seem a little boring if you ask me. But just tell me, what is all this stuff about anyway? Well, Sunderland has joined 12 other towns in Franklin County to purchase electricity from a common supplier, Dynagy. This bulk purchase allows us to offer cheaper and greener electricity to Sunderland's residences and businesses, as well as the residents of all those other towns, including our sister towns of Deerfield, Conway, and Waitley, cheaper and greener than the electricity you're getting now from Eversource. Also, you're probably aware that Eversource's prices fluctuate every six months. But this program, which they're calling Community Choice Power Supply, will provide price stability over the length of the contract, 41 months, well over three years. In fact, the first five months will be even cheaper than the remaining 36 months. The electricity you purchase will contain more renewable energy than what you get now from Eversource. Really? That sounds pretty interesting, but how much more? Well, for the first five months, your electricity will be made up of 5% uh, more renewable energy, and for the next 36 months, 25% more than Eversource offers. Now, other participating towns might have chosen different amounts, and Eversource is required by law to include a certain percentage of renewable energy in their product. And this amount increases slightly each year, but many people think this will not be enough or go quickly enough to prevent the most serious effects of climate change. And it won't even meet the benchmarks of the Global Warming Solutions Act that Massachusetts put into place in 2008. That's why we think we need an electricity source that contains more renewable energy while still keeping it affordable. We need to move more quickly and more aggressively, David, towards renewable energy. Wow, that sounds like a pretty good deal. So how do I sign up for this? Well, actually, you don't need to do anything. You will be automatically enrolled unless you opt out of the program and say, no thanks, I'd rather stick with Eversource. <laughs> well, hold on a second now. If I, a few thoughts have occurred to me here. If, if I leave Eversource, who will maintain the power lines? How reliable is this company, Dynagy? What do I do, or how do I know if I can even trust them? Well, actually you will still remain an Eversource customer. You will still get your bills from Eversource and they will maintain the power lines. The only thing that will change is the one line on your electric bill that states who your supplier is, and of course the rate as well. Everything else will stay the same. Eversource will still deliver your electricity, 
But now we have more choice over the price, the amount of renewable energy in the mix, and the stability of that price. That's why it's called community choice power supply or community choice aggregation. Hmm. Well, I have to say that sounds all pretty good, but there must be a downside. Why might someone want to say no and opt out of this program? You know me, I tend to be just a tad suspicious of these things. Yeah, I know you. Well, uh, downside? Search me, I think it's a pretty good deal. I mean, I guess if you want to pay more for your electricity, or if you hate renewable energy, or if you think climate change is just a hoax, or if Eversource is truly your favorite company, then this program might not be for you. You know, if, if you want to opt out, there is a reply card enclosed, or you can just call Dynagy directly, or you can even opt out online on the website listed in the letter, colonialpowergroup.com slash Sunderland. I should add though, David, that while we believe that the electricity price available through this community choice program will be cheaper than Eversource's rate most of the time, we actually have no control over Eversource's prices, so we can't actually guarantee that. Right now, energy prices are quite volatile due to the pandemic and the resultant economic shutdown. Plus, there's a price war going on between Russia and Saudi Arabia. So it's a bit hard to predict where things are going. As the saying goes, these are unprecedented times, David. Just now, Eversource's prices are quite low due to the low price of natural gas, but their prices can't stay that way forever. The energy companies are barely covering their costs right now. Still, the prices associated with the Community Choice Program are even lower. What happens if I don't like this program or if Eversource's prices actually go lower? I mean, that could happen at some point, right? Yeah, it could. But you can switch out of the Community Choice Program and go back to Eversource as your supplier at any point in time with no penalty or fee attached. Or you can even choose a different competitive supplier if you wish. Okay, well, hold on. I'm looking at the back of this now. And what is all this stuff? It says something about 100% renewable energy. Are they trying to sell me something here? Is this kind of a bait and switch sort of deal? Oh, you're such a skeptic. No, <laughs> it's not a bait and switch deal. In addition to the default product that I just described to you, Sunderland's Community Choice Power Supply Plan is offering two other optional choices, both of them supplying 100% renewable electricity. One of them is 100% national wind energy, which is based in Texas. And the other is based here in New England, also 100% renewable. But you have to explicitly choose either of those options. Enrollment in those products will not be automatic. How come? Wouldn't you think that 100% renewable would be even better? Well, yes, in some ways it is. Um, the National Wind product, for example, is actually cheaper than Eversource's basic rate. But the energy generated there does not actually feed into our grid. It will benefit somebody somewhere, and it will reduce greenhouse gas emissions, which is good but it will not support the local economy or create jobs here in New England in the renewable energy sector where they are badly needed. Now the second product, New England Green, does fit into our, feed into our grid. The electricity is generated locally or regionally, and it is also 100% renewable, but it is not cheaper than Eversource. So we didn't offer it as the default product, Still, the price difference isn't all that much. For a few extra dollars a month, you could buy 100% Massachusetts-based renewable energy without having to purchase solar panels for your roof. You know, David, if, if local green energy is your bottom line, then it's a pretty good deal. Really? Huh. I'm going to have to look into that. You know, I was thinking about putting panels on my roof, but the property has a lot of trees, I don't want to cut them down, and our roof isn't facing exactly the right way. Yeah. Um, but how much more do you think it would cost? Well, for an average household consuming, I don't know, about 
600 kilowatt hours per month, it would add about uh, $17 a month on your bill. And if you were a bit more conscientious about conservation, you know, turning off unnecessary lights, and so on, you could probably erase most of that extra cost. Now, my household electricity use averages about 200 kilowatt hours a month. So in my case, the extra charge would be, you know, just over $5.50 a month for 100% renewable energy. Not a bad deal at all. Is that all? That's like the price of a cup of coffee, a couple of cups of coffee, or if I splurge and got a large iced latte with a flavor swirl, maybe. Yeah, I, I suppose that's true, but how would I know? I don't even drink coffee. But even $17 a month is not so bad. Seems to me that stemming climate change is worth more than that. Yeah, I'll have to talk to my partner about that option. I'm not even sure what our usage is. I'm kind of embarrassed to say. I just pay the bill, whatever it is every month. But now you've encouraged me to look into it a little more carefully. We may just end up going with the easiest. We just might end up doing the easiest thing and go for the default product. But we'll consider the other options too. Thanks for clearing this up, Aaron. I'm glad that Sunderland and all those other towns are, are going to uh, give us a choice instead of just accepting what the utility company sends us over the wires. Sounds like a really good deal. I think so too. Um, you know, the folks at Colonial Power Group in Marlboro, Mass would be glad to answer any further questions you might have. They were the consultants on this project for all 13 towns, and they are far more knowledgeable about this than I am. Their toll-free number is listed towards the end of the letter. Great, well, thanks again, Aaron. Definitely on board with this program, one way or the other. So I'll look into it and make my decision. Take care. Glad to hear it. So long, David. <laughs>